And from that story by Dr. Masikori, let's now have a conversation with Dr. Lawrence Owino. He is a pediatrician. He no joins us live uh, from our city center studios. A very good afternoon to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, that report uh, by Dr. Masikori there um, seems very alarming as far as immunization and uh, vaccination, so to speak, for babies is concerned. As a pediatrician, what have you witnessed so far in the past four months that nurses have been on strike? Uh, thank you, Akisa. Uh, it's important to note that uh, vaccines are a very important uh, pillar of child health, and that has been recognized for a long time. And in 1979, through the Alma-Ata Declaration, uh, that was recognized as one of the primary pillars to improve the, uh, uh, the health of the children or part of what was called the primary health care. So um, vaccines is also very important as uh, uh, an anchor for other healthcare interventions because we have very good uh, systems and networks for vaccines and this is often used uh, to roll out uh, other interventions like uh, malaria preventive uh, uh, therapy and uh, uh, NETs and other uh, healthcare interventions. So once we, we fail to give children their vaccines in time and the vaccine system uh, uh, stops working uh, full time, it means there are so many other um, uh, 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 healthcare interventions that are going to suffer. So in the, next, in the last four to five months that uh, children have not been getting optimal uh, vaccination services, what we expect is that uh, 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 children are going to start missing out on other important healthcare interventions. For example, uh, mothers take children for uh, vaccinations at six weeks, at 10 weeks, at 14 weeks, and it's at these visits that children are usually examined and those who are found to suffer from any other illnesses, for example, diarrhea, then they are treated. But once the system of vaccination is not working, it means so many children may be suffering at home and they are not taken to the healthcare facility because many mothers actually associate um, uh, healthcare uh, provision for children with the receiving of vaccines. So we expect that there are many other children who are suffering from conditions which would have been recognized and treated uh, 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 if they had been taken for vaccinations, but that's not happening. So I work at the Kenyatta National uh, Hospital, sorry, and. Um, because of this, you find that many times the wards or the, the hospital is overwhelmed because the peripheral facilities are not offering these vaccines and therefore people are, not associ people are associating this with the lack of other uh, child uh, care services there and therefore we are seeing uh, more people coming to Kenyatta and that actually uh, strains us. Therefore, the lack of provision of vaccination currently means that other uh, tertiary healthcare facilities are being overwhelmed. So we also, unfortunately, vaccines uh, uh, prevent against diseases that may not be coming now. So we cannot say uh, that we already have seen an upsurge of vaccine preventable diseases. However, we expect that in the next few months, if nothing is done, then there is a very high risk that we may be getting into uh, outbreaks of diseases like measles, Diseases like rotavirus, uh, which causes severe diarrhea and dehydration in children. Diseases like uh, um, uh, vaccine-preventable diseases uh, like meningitis and pneumonia, which are prevented by certain vaccines given at 6, 10, and 14 weeks. So it's absolutely important that the healthcare system is actually sorted out so that uh, children can continue to receive uh, the services that uh, is theirs by right, according to our constitution. This is that you're talking about. Thank how you, long? How long does it take before they start showing? It's already been four months of the nurses' strike, and uh, um, some far-flung areas really are not receiving these services. And of course, they do not have the option of going to private facilities. So, how long uh, does it take before we realize that something is wrong somewhere? As you say, that it takes a while before the diseases start to show. Uh, uh, that's actually the tragedy of vaccine-preventable diseases because uh, Kenya as a country has uh, relatively done well and we were at about 80% uh, 
are fully vaccinated. That means that uh, in a year, we had about 20% of children who are not getting all the vaccines, and this accumulates. Usually, when we reach uh, the equivalent of 100% of the children that we were to target in that year, then we reach a point where we, we, we are uh, at risk, at very high risk, of getting disease outbreaks. So already it is possible that we are getting uh, children suffering from this vaccine uh, preventable diseases, but we may actually be just uh, using the last uh, uh, benefits of the higher vaccination coverage that we had. But once we get accumulation of all these children that have not been vaccinated, then we are getting a very big pool of unvaccinated children. And if by any chance just one case uh, is in, established in our community as a country, then we are, uh, we, we are at high risk of getting a big out, uh, 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 blown out of, uh, of the problems or of these diseases. So in a year, 20% are not vaccinated. And if we are talking about uh, five months or so, I would actually that we are actually uh, almost reached the threshold. And the slightest uh, trigger of just one case being uh, introduced mm -hmm. into our country or into a, com a community full of vulnerable mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. then it would uh, uh, lead to a calamitous mm -hmm. uh, outbreak that the healthcare system may not mm -hmm. be able to manage or handle, especially in view of the challenges that we are having with the healthcare uh, system. Dr. Lawrence, so, uh, we know? Uh, yes. We cannot say exactly. Yeah, yeah, we cannot say exactly uh, uh, when, but this may already be happening. Mm -hmm. But uh, we know that uh, within one year, we, will, uh, we would have accumulated 20% if we were giving everybody vaccines. Mm -hmm. And if five months or so, it means close to 50% of the children are not received, plus the 20% that were not vaccinated the year before, then we are looking at almost 70 to 80%. And actually, I would say, that we are at the, at, at the breakout point. And in any, uh, any time, if, uh, God forbid, we have a case, then we can actually see a very big uh, outbreak of any of those vaccine preventable okay. diseases. All right, Dr. Lawrence Owino, thank you very much for joining us here on KTN News Desk, given as we assess uh, the situation currently, especially for children under the age of five, owing to the nurses' strike that is on day 127 today. Children missing their vaccines that uh, will prove to be, uh, to bring up very, uh, the vaccine-preventable diseases that uh, the pediatrician there is talking about. So it's a situation we continue to track, of course, with our medical correspondent, Dr. Masi Korir, uh, continuing to track this situation for us.